the third set of the day will be played on Whirlwind. Spawning up in the top right-hand position as the Red Zerg from STX Soul. His name is Hiva. His opponent taking out Trap and Innovation from STX Soul going for the third kill of the day. His name is Turn. This music's got me pumped up. I'm like already excited now for this game. Even though it's only a, it's less than a minute in, I'm waiting for the big attack to happen. The Banelings and the Marines are just going to start killing each other in the middle of a map any second Don't get second too excited now. just yet. <laughs> Don't get too excited just yet. The music died off, so It calm. did, it did die off. Just relax for now. It's good music, though. I love the Heart of the Swarm soundtrack. Really just huge shout-out to whoever did the soundtrack. I don't, I don't remember who did it. I know there's credits in StarCraft, but they did a great job with the music in HOTS. So Hiva, oh, well, he's going to go ahead and scout early on. He's got to make sure he's not going to get too raxed. Mm -hmm. Just making sure that. because his opponent, is his name is Turn. That's right. That's the thing, though. If you get a reputation for being an aggressive player, you instantly become more dangerous. And look at this. This is exactly why Hiva scouted the middle of the map here. He wanted to see if there was anything in the middle. He'll go ahead and go to that bottom left-hand base, I believe. Scout mm -hmm. there and then around the rest of the map here. And he's basically playing as safe as possible here. At least he's feeling safe a little right now, knowing that his opponent is not going for the two racks in the middle of the map. Now, that's why he feels confident enough to go for the hatch first. Mm -hmm. He certainly wouldn't have gone for that if he did see the two racks in the middle of the map. He would put down his pool and just try to get a lot of Zerglings out earlier on. Yeah, I'm really surprised the turn's been playing so solid today. I mean, his aggression... It's still there, but when it comes to defense, he knows how to defend against like the timing pushes from the, his uh, opponent Protoss players and Terran players. Yeah. So the final homework for turn is going to be a TBC on this map. Remember, the Terran players do have a better score on this map, but turn his TBT wasn't great, and he still won anyways. That's true. Cur I'm actually really curious to see how this match is going to evolve, because Hyba oh. and turn they're... Ooh, actually, that is a big mistake. He somehow missed that. That's actually huge. All right, well, he's going to probably turn that Overlord around like, when he huh? realized. Yeah, he probably realized, oh, okay, there it is. I was like, huh. Did oh, you just okay. lift up the command center to the gold base or something earlier in the game? There's no, there's not even a gold base on this map. Somehow he was able to lift his command center there anyway. The mind games, man, the <laughs> mind games. But, hey, you know what? At least I was scouted, but he didn't see the command center. Remember that. No, that's right, he hasn't seen, seen the command center. Look at this, though, double, double gas, gas from turn here. Oh, he's... I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but it looks like he's going to get aggressive. <laughs> well, that is the right answer because, of course, his mm. name is Turn High, but also double getting gas. a double gas for himself. So we're just going to see a lot of early aggression here from both sides. Lots of attacks. We have the factory now going down for Turn as his command center. Just about finished up here. Four minutes, 30 seconds, Roach and we one. have Roaches. Looks like Hyba wants to end this game early on here. Going to go ahead for the, the Roaches. Has now, a few Zerglings out as well to scout around, keep tabs on his opponent here. Do remember, Turn is playing this game like he doesn't care what his opponent is going to do because he hasn't scouted around the map at all. Now he's building a bunker even before, scan uh, even before knowing what his opponent is going for. So now... Turn is saying, well, I'm going to put the aggression sometime in the middle of the game, but against early, any early timing attacks, I'm going to be well defended. Oh, he actually... Ah, uh, he realizes that it's uh, out of position there. And actually, that SCV may end up dying here. Zerglings will be scared away for now by those Marines. The problem is going to be the follow-up. He has Hellions coming out on the way with the reactor factories, but we have five Roaches coming out on the way, six. Oh, so if Turn just defends, then he's going to be fine. Uh, he's losing the one Marine there, though. He may lose that second one. Uh, nope. And, oh, very close. One more hit. That Marine would have been toast. Or I guess just shredded. Shredded cheese. No. This is um, looking okay so far for turn. The starport is finishing up, but it really depends on what he starts building with the starport. If he goes for the Banshee, he should be okay here. Yeah, he has that tech lab there. I think he's actually going to go for cloak Banshees. Yeah, if he gets one or two Banshees out, he'll be able to defend against the Roaches eventually. And now he sees uh, the Roaches coming them. out on the way. And instantly that Banshee is in production. Two Widow Mines on the way as well here. Turn moving his SCVs back to his main base here. I like that decision. But for some reason, he does make that a... Uh, he puts the, does the call down on the supply depot as his uh, natural ramp. Losing a lot of Hellions here, too, for free. Not the best decision-making here from turn. 
Now the turn. Now the problem is the attack is going to be fended off, but how much damage is Hyba going to do before the attack is fended off? That's true, and these Hellions in the main base here, they're going to be uh, useless though if they're not micro. The Widow Mines have burrowed, doing some damage, killing off one Roach there. This Banshee almost complete here. The two Hellions in the main base of Hyba have been killed here. Now we have SCVs all over the map here. 24 to 30, Hyva already securing a lead in this game just by that aggressive Roach opening here. Looks like he... Turn just played right into Hyba's hands. Yeah, Turn is just saying, I don't want to die right now, even if I lose the SCVs, because I have a fast command center. But Hyba killed up to 13 SCVs, and this is not an all-in from Hyba. He still has six roaches somewhere in the middle of the map that he could use for another aggression. Yeah, he just wanted to, you know, go get some map control there, try to do some economic damage to Turn. Get him uneasy. Whoa. Nine is now on the way here, though, from Hyva. So it looks like he does want to end this game quite fast here. He has the position to do it too. This is a little bit risky, but the Widow Mines are out of position. Remember that. Um, turn, if he actually sends a. Oh, well, third command center on the way for turn, which means that he wants to play economic, but he does see the layer inside the main base, only sees a Roach Warren, so now he knows something is up, but does he see the. Okay, barely sees it on the left bottom side, but Not is sure. he paying attention? I don't think he's paying enough attention here. He's not bringing any units over there. This is so bad for turn. This Banshee needs to be in the main base here. Now the Roaches are going to come out. They could also potentially have Queen's Fort from behind. Uh, this is looking terrible for turn here. I think he may be forced the GG out of this game. He simply doesn't have enough units to defend against these Roaches in this position. GG is called. Turns two-game win streak stopped by Hyva. Like I said, if you are trying to defeat an aggressive player, be more aggressive than your opponent. Hyva, he knew what he was supposed to do. He went for it. Turn. He just didn't have enough units back at the main base to defend. He just decided to go for the third command center, which was not the right choice at the point, but he thought to himself, well, the aggression has stopped. That's true. So unfortunately for turn, you know, he was playing great for a while, but the aggression, he couldn't handle it. But he did his job for today. He certainly did. He took out innovation and trap as well. So the score won the two. Samsung Khan in the lead here. Don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be back after this commercial break.